Every summer, we would collect the seeds of the appleberry tree and put them in the seed jar. Grandpa had shown me how to do this. He told me the appleberry was a very fragile tree, but if I collected the seeds and put them in a jar, everything would be taken care of. He passed away, but I continued collecting seeds from the delicious appleberry tree, so plentiful and beautiful, and putting them in the jar. Every summer I would collect the seeds, and every fall I would harvest and eat the fruit. There was never any problem. I had children of my own and taught them to collect the seeds as well, and put them in the seed jar. One year we had a terrible drought, and so we collected the seeds, hoping it would help. As it turned out, everything was okay that year. But a few years later, things were worse. With zeal and conviction, I went with my children collecting all the seeds we could until finally one year we collected the very last seed from the very last appleberry tree and put it in the jar. All the other trees had withered. That year, the trees all shriveled. There was no fruit and the next year, no seeds. My children and I became quite ill from lack of food until eventually I sat on my deathbed desperate to feed them and be well. As I looked at the seed jar, it was then that I realized that the seeds were for planting, not just for saving or hoping. I told my children that if they planted the seeds, the appleberry trees would return. They told me it's too late that they didn't know how to plant the seeds. I told them it was easy, just cover them with dirt and give them a bit of water. We had a whole jar full of seeds. Some of them were bound to sprout.